Hello and welcome to yet another video. This is the third episode of the series, and Naruto Uzumaki was tired. He is tired of himself pretending to be an idiot. No more hiding, and with the help of the Shadow Clone just to, he will emerge from the shadows to become the Kami Cage, a legendary figure. Please like and subscribe to show your support. Let's get the show started. People have left some nasty comments about the Shadow Clone Justice being cheap. Well this is a doji dog world it is okay to cheat. It is also more realistic as Naruto needs to get strong and can abuse the just who. Add that to the fact that he lived a life not dissimilar to a POW then he would have all the more reason to bash people. The last exam part 3 it was Naruto and Gara on the field. They were facing each other. One's face full of insanity mumbling about feeding the other's blood to his mother. Naruto was just bored. With the signal to go Gara sent his sand at Naruto who stood there until the last second and did something that shook up anyone who knew anything about elemental manipulation and the Hokages. He raised his hands and clapped them together and was surrounded in a huge blast of water that formed out of thin air. It covered all of Gara's sand and went to about halfway above the walls. With the Jonin he just created a massive amount of water without a visible and present source. Only the second Hokage could do that. The raw skill required is massive this came from Asuma who was in shock at the elemental manipulation the boy just wielded. After all it was a legendary ability of his father predecessor. I am not surprised, Naruto is the great grandson of the second Hokage, and he showed me the blood test actually. If you think of it is not surprising as the Hiroshin was developed by the second Hokage and the fact that only someone who possess an incredible body could handle the justice massive strain. The Senju and Uzumaki are the only ones who possess the raw amount of chakra and physical abilities to do this. While them in the third rage Kijin may be his son, though they are a rather strange exception. Guy said in response, which made everyone look at him in shock. Then how did Anko do it as well? Kur and I asked well I believe Naruto did it and she was along for the ride, you only need to meet the aforementioned requirements to use it not go along for the ride. Guy speculated. With the Kijas both of the Kijas were gobsmacked at the use of such a legendary ability, to manifest such a massive amount of water form nothing form the atmosphere. Something that has not is seen since or before Tobamara Senju. That was like Tobamara Sensei, both created massive amounts of water with little chakra drain and form the atmosphere alone. Incredible. This was Hiruzen as he was almost in tears at the thought of someone being so similar to his old teacher and good friend. Amazing indeed this came from the Kaze Kage who was worried about the invasion. This was not good at all. The boy had such skill and having him there could really screw things up, so he was almost about to cancel the invasion. Then he thought about at least killing his former teacher, yes that he could do even if the invasion failed he could still get away. So things would go as planned. Back with Naruto Naruto was, balancing out on the water, smirking slightly at the shock look at his skill. So he took out his sword and swung it. A huge blast of wide energy came from it freezing the water and all of Gar's sand. To the point where it crystallized around his joints restricting his movements. Naruto was there in a flash but before he could do anything Gara exploded in a massive puff of smoke and in his place was the hundred foot tall raccoon dog Shikaku. Seeing the crowd panic Naruto went through a few hand signs and smacked his hands on the ground. An array of symbols and calligraphy came from his hand and expanded around the arena and even above Shikaku, it glowed red and purple making a barrier that none could break. Shikaku did not like this. And so voiced his displeasure. Loudly. What the fuck is this, I can't break this awful barrier. The raccoon dog still tried to punch it away and even unleashed a tail beast ball at the barrier wall. With the Joni normally I would be worried about the one tails but from what I can tell he won't get past this barrier. Asuma said smirking a little at the general panic of the civilians. You will not have to be worried, that barrier has two functions. The first to stop anything from getting in or out. The second is a nullifier. If Naruto fails the barrier will seal up the Shikaku nice and tight, nullifying his ability to influence the kid, Gara. This made everyone who heard it drop their jaws to see level that was incredible skill in seals. Even more skilled than Minato Namikaze, something that Kakashi did not like, his teacher was supposed to be the best. With the Kajas you better hope that he can deal with Gara or it is your ass Hiruzen said for once using his spine. Of course the fake Kaze Kage was sweating but not due to the fact that Gara transformed early, but that the seals would nullify the boy regardless. And with that lovely thought started the invasion. He attacked his old teacher and proceeds to get him stuck in a double-sided four-flame barrier. Back with the Jonin seeing a gene just out activated on the people the skilled were able to cancel it and they began to fight the invaders. Needless to say that with Guy, Lee, who had been watching for a while, Ino, Hinata, Sakura, Anko, Kurinai, Kakashi and Asuma fighting the opposition was more than a little screwed. 
Back with Naruto. Seeing the purple barrier form above the cage booth and sensing Orochimaru's chakra Naruto sighed at the pathetic security the village had. Knowing that saving the Hokage would be in his better interests he decided to take care of the Shikaku quick so he could have a far more fun fight with Orochimaru and whomever he had just summoned. Gathering his chakra Naruto created two clones that launched themselves at the Shikaku climbing up to Gar at the top of the Shikao's head. Naruto himself shoot out chakra chains from his back that went into the ground before wrapping around the Shikaku and pinning him. The clones knocked Gara form the Shikao which resealed the tailed beast. Naruto went over to Gara who was crawling away from Naruto eyes wide in fear. So our hero grabbed Gara up to face level and thrust his hand onto Gara's seal and the seal Naruto appeared in what seemed to be a bloody war torn desert. In the middle was Gara in a pool of bloody quicksand and the Shikaku himself covered in bloody veins instead of his normal blue markings. Realizing a third entity was in the mind Naruto shoot out his chakra which had an immediate reaction. The blood collected into a crazed man with bloodshot eyes. He grinned at Naruto who recognized the priest clothing. So you are Shikaku the sand priest, correct? I was wondering what had happened to Shikaku whom according to his brother Kurama was slightly nuts but not malicious at all. It seems your parasite act had caused a massive strain to his mind. Naruto then blurred in front of the demented priest and thrust his hand into the man flooding him with his chakra. This caused the man's skin to boil before evaporating completely. The sandstorm ceased and both Gara and Shikaku woke up. Naruto explained what had happened to the toe of them. Oh, good, the nut job is gone. Thanks kid. While I would love to be free I will stay and help the squirt it is the least I could do. This shocked Gara, who imagined a crazy tailed beast. Very well but first I need to fix your seal if that is okay, oh and you need to go to my house afterwards and catch up on your sleep, 13 years without is not good for you. Oh and your defense is full of a mother's love not from Shikaku just so you know. Getting a nod in confirmation and a tear of sadness, Naruto fixed the seal and was off. He had a clone take Gaara to his compound. The birth of a legend. Naruto appeared on the roof near the barrier that had already taken the life of one of the Anbu assigned to protect the Hokage. Looking at the barrier he figured out a way across its membrane. Going through a flurry of hand signs Naruto covered his body in chakra chain chakra and said Rikuto chain style. Path of the Hollow God and with that walked through the barrier. This garnered strange looks from the Anbu whom he turned to and said if you are not cage level then you participate in this little event sorry about that smirking at their odd and annoyed looks. Appearing next to the Hokage who was facing a resurrected Hashirama and Dobimara Senju as well as his old student Orochimaru, everyone was stunned to see someone who passed the barrier. The past Hokages stared at Naruto in what seemed to be shock and a little awe. This boy has almost six tails of chakra and is only about 12 years old. His chakra is so strong, at our level brother. This was Tobimara, who happened to be an incredible sensor. Well thank you for noticing Grandpa Naruto said with a cheeky grin towards Tobimara who gasped at Naruto's words. It was actually rather comical. But I had no children, oh wait you don't happen to be a Namikaze do you? I was often with women named Tara Namikaze. We were not married yet and I died so maybe she had a child afterwards. I can believe it as you look like her and have chakra similar to my own. This confirmation shook up Orochimaru and made Hashirama grin at the thought of his uptight brother getting laid. Seeing an opportunity to humiliate his sensei Orochimaru began to tell Tobimara about his descendant's life. Your descendant lived a horrible life of abuse, neglect and more. Although he is already cage level purely on his own with no help at all. Hiruzen gave him no help and did nothing to protect him. This garnered Hiruzen a massive glare form both of his former teachers is this true Hiruzen? They both said manically flaring their massive chakras. Hiruzen paled thinking oh fuck as he nodded. Orochimaru implanted his seals and the battle was joined. Naruto and Tobimara attacked each other in a flurry of incredible fast, devastating punches and kicks, to the outside world they were not even blurs. They would merely disappear and reappear in different spots. The only indication of a fight between them is the damage to their bodies and the roof. You truly are skilled young man, you taught yourself correct. Tobimara asked his descendant, after ducking a kick to the face that is. Yes that is right I rely on myself my whole life. Well I and Kurama or the QB as you would know him. He is sealed in me. Your shadow clone just who was very useful to make up for the shitty job this village did. So thank you for that. Naruto replied after giving his great grandfather a swift kick to the chest which sent the man sprawling across the floor. Well you're welcome child. I am sorry your life turned out. I am glad I did something to improve your, even if indirectly to improve it at all. I am shocked and ashamed at the state of the village. And I am glad you have a friend in the QB as I tried to tell my stubborn sister-in-law to try. But that is the past. 
I want to let go of the kitty gloves and go full force to see how strong you are. Then Tobiamra unleashed a massive amount of chakra grinning at the thought of a really good battle. Seeing where he wanted to go Naruto unleashed all of his weighted seals and also got ready with one last comment. Just so you know your grandson, my father was the fourth Hokage and died to seal Kurama in me. Also the state of the village is due to the corruption of the village council and the incompetence of your successor. They began to fight for real. With Sakura due to facing a 5 cage level shinobi in Sakura, Kai, Anko, Hinata and Jiria the sand and sound lost very quickly. And so these group and Kakashi went up to the barrier where they began to watch Naruto fight on even terms with the second Hokage a double S rank shinobi as strong as his legendary brother. It seems that Orochimaru has not actually mastered this technique, if he had they would be a lot stronger still they are both at highest rank level at the moment this was Jiria who recognized the flaws in Orochimaru attempt at the just two. That is good, as strong as Naruto is he could not handle them in full form. Sakura explained to the confused Onbu. Back with Naruto Tobimara unleashed a huge amount for Rushine water at Naruto who merely swiped it away with a backhand showing that he had superior control over the element. Our blonde appeared in front of his grandfather, sword in hand impaling the man who merely smiled at his descendants immense skills. Naruto said goodbye, Rikudo sword art, subjugation of the battle weary soul and the previous Hokage crumbled into dust his soul sucked into Naruto's sword. Naruto's sword glowed blue and white adding a kanji for water dragon on the blade as part of his soul was absorbed by the blade, before releasing the rest of his godfather's souls back to the pure world. Naruto turned to go help the third Hokage. Madara himself has said that Dobimaro was as strong as himself. Also Guy is indeed a cage level shinobi that was verified by the past Hokages and honestly he was able to beat a very strong high ass rank shinobi with ease, Kisame. So yes he is very strong. Hinata and Sakura in my story are lowest rank right now. They could beat Sasori but would have some trouble and defiantly Hidan, who is on the lower spectrum of cage level. Oh and the resurrected shinobi are nowhere near their full strength, Naruto is now as strong as Jiraiya the birth of a legend part 2 Naruto appeared in form of the resurrected first Hokage, fist raised and an evil grin on his face. Hashirama raised his palm to block it but was launched back quite far. He struggled to get up feeling very warm. That felt like Tsunade during one of her temper tantrums. But way hotter, did you add fire chakra to your blow? The tree making cage asked before glaring once more at Hiruzen who was kneeling on the ground covered in bruises, cowering from his sensei that beat him for not helping his family. The man was a big supporter of loyalty after all. Yes I learned Tsunade's chakra enhanced strength and can use it better than she can at the moment. And yes I did add fire chakra, well actually it was scorch which is a mixture of fire and wind chakra. But still it was effective was it not? I like improving old styles of fighting. Well I must admit to being impressed. You are very strong and will easily surpass me with time. Let's go all out K nephew. The old cage said with a smile. Naruto answered with a chuckle and a rushed into the man's gut with his fist. This began a back and forth of a tea to bath, neither being better than the other. Naruto then went for a bonsai attack and was locked back. He then stood up with a grin on his face and said Rikudo ceiling style. Release of the battle weary soul and with that, seals began to appear on the first Hokage whose soul was released form his false body with a smile on his face. Naruto then turned his sights on Orochimaru who bloated for a moment and spat out a sword. Naruto took out his sword and released a large wave of purple energy which completely destroyed all of the trees created by the first Hokage earlier assault. Orochimaru was seen panting missing his arms and part of his abdomen, coming out of his own mouth completely restored. Don't you understand I am immortal? The unhinged snake Sanin said. Then he locked at Naruto and the two began a fierce Ken just to battle that Naruto was clearly dominating. Outside of the barrier he is amazing, he beat two cage level shinobi and is easily defeating a third one. This came from the leader of the Anbu. He turned to see Sakura, Hinata, Jariya and Anko eating popcorn watching Orokamaru getting his ass handed to him. Guy was grinning and just being his normal goofy self. None were worried. Yes that's it, slice him to bits. Cut of his head ha 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 this came from a slightly mad Onko. Kakashi and Sasuke who had just gotten up there were in absolute shock to see Naruto easily fighting Orochimaru. Back with Naruto Naruto was getting tired of the poor swordsmanship of Orochimaru. All he was doing was swinging wildly, trying to outspeed Naruto. So Naruto kicked him back and gather a lot of chakra into his hands. It was lighting chakra and was spiraling around his hands not unlike Arasengan. As so Orochimaru attacked him again he grabbed both of the man's arms and said Rasen Rikiri this got a massive scream for Orochimaru who saw both of his arms chakra network being fired and unusable. 
Naruto kicked the man away who climbed out of his mouth. His arm still did not work. He ordered his shinobi to drop the barrier and being the snake he has managed to escape capture. Naruto was tired. He never had to fight that hard and would eventually pass out, regardless of his stamina. He helped Sakura to heal the remaining shinobi and Sarutobi before going to his compound and fall asleep. Special jonins are given specific specialties. One week after the invasion it had been one week since the invasion and in that time there was a 180 in respects to how the shinobi saw Naruto and Sakura. It went from some mild respect and a lot of resentment to a lot of respect and on little resentment. They were seen as role models for the younger generations and as idols for the rest of the village. The same could be for how Hinata was seen by the Hyuga family. She was seen as the perfect Hyuga and an example for what they should be in the future as she was the first ranked ninja from that family and was even in the bingo book. People were also being very kind to Anko who had been a massive help in the invasions, actually being the one who demolished the summoning party. The participants form the last part of the Chunin exams were, asked to come to the Hokage's office. They were all shocked to see him in relatively good condition as he had Naruto and Sakura heal his ass from the various injuries the past cage had inflicted on him. In front of him were various vests to give to the participants. He had a genuine smile on his face and looked extremely proud. As the Hokage I am very proud of you as my ninjas, as a grandfather I am proud of my children for your accomplishments. And so I believe that most of you are deserving of the promotion. Toshino Aburame, Shikamaru Nara I grant you your Chunin vests, for you have demonstrated great strength and skill as well as a level head. Both of you were instrumental in the repelling of the invaders. You both helped to evacuate the civilians and helped to protect the ones that were missed by the earlier patrols. Tuino Yamanaka I give you your special Jonin vest with a focus in poisons, medical ninjas 2 and elemental ninjas 2, you personally wiped out a battalion that came from the forest after we thought it was all over. As well as your incredible aid in the hospital when the invasion was all over. Hinata Huda I give you your Jonin vest for your protecting of the civilians and personally saving the daimyos from danger, you wiped out all invaders at the hospital, as well as your efforts in the hospital in terms of healing, you are specialized in Taiyas 2 and medical ninjutsu. To Sakura Haruno I give you your Jonin vest for your incredible aid during the invasion being able to take out a fifth of the entire force yourself and personally destroying those that tried to invade the academy as well as being instrumental in the recovery of hundreds of patients in the hospital. To Anko Mitarashi I upgrade you to Elite Jonin for your aid in the evasion and personally destroying the summoning party and wiping out a large portion of the enemy. And to Naruto Uzumaki you are given your Elite Jonin vest for your defeating of a crazed Jin Shuriki. Defeating two resurrected past Hokages and defeating Orochimaru and healing myself. You personally showed cage level skill and it is with great joy I grant you your promotion. You all have gone above and beyond the call of duty. This made everyone who was in the room smile except for two people, Kakashi and Sasuke, the latter being absolutely pissed. He foolishly thought that showing his anger would be wise despite being surrounded by cage level shinobi. Where is my vest I also worked hard and have improved a lot. Sasuke said this as he slammed his fist on the old man's desk. He was answered in the way of ungodly killing intent being admitted from everyone there even including our two new and rather mild Chunin who were done with his attitude. Naruto grabbed the young boy by his throat, his feet dangling and face turning purple. You were unconscious during the entire invasion form Sakura's creeping crystals that sprouted as she kicked your ass. You were late and only fought, because Sakura wanted to shut up the audience. You don't deserve to be promoted to shut up before I have Sakura crystallize your tongue, eyes and genitals. You don't want that do you? Naruto's threats gained some winning form the other males in the room. Kakashi trying to save his favorite student put his hand on Naruto's wrist only to find himself pinned face full in the ground covered in the aforementioned crystals. He could feel his chakra being sucked away and the last thing he heard before he was knocked out was Sakura saying. You are pathetic Kakashi, you abandoned two of your students, protecting the other and only teaching him made him late to his tuning exams and still defend him. You are really sad, if those who disobey their orders are trash and those that abandon their comrades are worse, what does that make you? Both got tossed out, after they did Iruzen told Naruto about a mission he would go on with Jiraiya. Naruto you and Jiraiya are going to go to find Tsunade to become Hokage, it is time for me to retire once again. Very well but can I bring Anko with us I have a feeling she will be needed. Oh and Sakura I need you to train Gara in what we discussed and Dino I need you to train Shikamaru and Choji, Hinata you can train Shino for a bit. Put them through the laps. Have fun. This was Naruto response which garnered looks of fear from those that were to be trained and a look of happiness from Anko as well as a slight blush. I will allow it and I don't even want to know how you train so I will ask nothing. Though you should see your new pages in the bingo book.
and with that the others left to go look at a bingo book. At the gate all right let's go, as we go along I will be teaching you some of your dad's justice this was Jiraiya who began to take out some water balloons but was stopped by Naruto, who created a perfect Rasengan. If you are referring to the Rasegon and the Hiroshin then hold your breath as I have mastered them both and improved them massively. I require no seals for the Hiroshin and have added elements to the Rasengan. This of course left Jiraiya gaping, he then asked how long did it take you to learn the Rasengan then? Without clones, about 5 minutes due to my perfect chakra control. Though it requires less control than one would imagine. This of course left Jiraiya to pout as it took him about 6 months to learn it himself. Anka opened her bingo book to see what Sarutobi had meant and was shocked at the result. Sakura Haruno, the Leaf's Cage Haim, Shadow Princess, age 12 noticeable features, pink hair with black tips, and jade colored eyes rank Jonin level, low to mids rank Sakura's stats can just to elite Jonin weapons Lokage level ninjas to Lokage medical ninjas to Tsunade level Jean just to, cage level speed, mid cage level strength, Lokage level chakra level mid cage level stamina, cage level a word of warning. Any touch is dangerous and skilled in poisons. Extremely skilled in evasion. Capable of using crystal style and was able to recreate the Chidori and Rikiri after seeing it once. Very dangerous accomplishment defeated the Brank apprentice of Zabuzamo Moiki was able to heal many of the villagers of Wave of various afflictions in a short time with the aid of Naruto Uzumaki. Single-handedly wiped out a fifth of an invasion force helped to heal hundreds injured in said invasions. Bounty. Missed 150,000 Ryo dead sound 2 million Ryo for her participation against the invasion Naruto Uzumaki, Cage Ryu of the Leaf, Shadow Dragon, age 12 noticeable features, short and spiky blonde hair, and sharp blue eyes. Has distinct whisker marks on his cheeks, 3 on each. Rank Jonin level, highest rank son of the 4th Hokage, Minato Namikaze and the Red Death Kushina Uzumaki grandson of the 2nd Hokage Tobamara Senju and great nephew of the 1st Hokage Hashirama Senju cousin of Tsunade Senju. Naruto's stats can just to high cage level Taiyas to high cage level weapons high cage level ninjas to high cage level elemental manipulation god like seals, level 15 tenths medical ninjas to Tsunade's level Jin just to, unknown but presumed to be small as he possesses massive reserves. Speed. High cage level strength Tsunade level chakra level, roughly 6 tails words of warning, able to channel element into sword for various effects. Immensely skilled in seals. Sensor type. Loves shadow clone just who. Skilled in every field. Was able to wipe out a portion of Orkamaru's chakra network? Don't attempt to fight if below cage. Or at all. He will destroy you. Accomplishment level defeated the higher rank Zabuzamo Moiki defeated both of the high crank demon brothers slaughtered 200 thugs with only one attack. The two combined so it was only one, was able to heal many of the villagers of wave of various afflictions in a short time with the aid of Sakura Haruno. Was able to defeat, all within minutes of each other defeat and seal the crazed Jin Shuriki of Shukaku a resurrected Tobimara Senju highest rank a resurrected Hashirama Senju highest rank Orkamaru of the Sanin, highest rank bounty. Missed 1 million Rio Cloud 10 million Rio dead or alive sound 50 million dead or alive due to being a threat to said village. Earth 900 million Rio alive note, wanted alive due to relation to Minato Namikaze, Ino Yamanaka, the Leafs Ye Kaim, Burnt Princess, age 12 noticeable features, pale blonde hair and blue eyes rank special Jonin level, high A rank Ino's stats tie us to elite Jonin level weapons elite Jonin level ninjas to midkage medical ninjas to mastery level ninjas to, unknown speed. High Jonin level strength, high Jonin level chakra level mid Jonin level stamina, high Jonin level a word of warning dash, uses poisons and a corrosive boil release. Don't underestimate. Accomplishment helped to wipe out a battalion of sound ninja and helped to heal many injured during the sound and sand invasion Hinata Hayuga, the leaf Saui Tenshi, blue angel, age 12 noticeable features, blue haircut and him style and posses the Byakugan rank Jonin level. Low to mids rank Hinata stats tie to mid cage level weapons Lokage level ninjas to Lokage medical ninjas to near Tsunade level Jin just to unknown speed, mid cage level strength, Lokage level chakra level mid cage level stamina, cage level a word of warning, any touch is dangerous. Extremely skilled in evasion. One touch is death. Created own style of gentle fist that does not require by a Kugan accomplishment killed of a large part of the invading army and helped to heal and prevent many casualties. Bounty Cloud 5 million Rio dead or alive sound, 1 million for actions during the invasions. Anko Midarashi, Hebi no Yo of the Leaf, Snake Queen, age 24 noticeable features, light brown, pupilless eyes, and violet hair styled in a short, spiky, fanned ponytail rank elite Jonin level, 
mid high rank conco stats tyus to high cage level weapons high cage level ninjas to mid cage gene just to unknown but presumed to be small as she possess massive reserves speed high cage level strength mid cage level chakra level about two tails words of warning can summon snakes and is capable of using lava style was once the apprentice of orochimaru made it her mission to kill the man accomplishments destroyed a vast majority of the army invading her village and personally destroying the summoning party bounty sound 15 million for her being a major threat to their auto cage jiraiya was seriously reconsidering being a pervert around those two actually he began to shiver in fear at the thought of pissing the two off it seemed he was in for an interesting trip at a hotel naruto and anko were at a hotel that jiraiya had dropped them off at while he chases some tail Though when he tried to take their wallets he almost lost what made him a man via one of Anko's snakes. As they were waiting Naruto and Anko began to sense something. Two high chakras coming their way. One at least the size of Anko's, it felt very much like water chakra, the other much lower about low cage. The latter felt not that dissimilar to Sasuke's. They deduced who it was. Itachi Uchiha and Kisame Hoshigaki, the only two people whom it could be really. So they braced themselves as the door was kicked open by Kisame. Come with us Naruto. This was Itachi, all quiet and broody. I have an idea Itachi, why not cut off his legs, he won't need them where he is going, Kisame said with a voice just dripping in bloodlust. I have a better idea, there is a field about 5 miles from here we will duke it out. Me versus Itachi and Aiko versus Kisame. That way you will not be noticed and we can all have a bit of fun. Sounds good. Naruto reason, the would-be kidnappers looked at each other and nodded. I mean really you can't get that strong and not love a good fight. Even Itachi, despite being a pacifist, loved a good spar. And of they went in a quick shushin. In the field about 5 miles away from the town they split up into their two groups and began to fight. Anko versus Kisame they were both standing on water, something most would feel as foolish as it was Kisame's element but Anko relished in the challenge. The shark-like man leapt at her his sword drawn, about to hit her when she did something that would rock his world. She, with her bare hand, stopped the sword. You did it now, my sword Seimata will drain you of all of your chakra, Kizmi exclaimed full of confidence. Until he noticed that the sword was doing nothing. Why are you not gorging yourself on her chakra Seimata? Kisame asked his sword. Gigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigigig
and loyal shinobi seeing as you killed your clan to prevent a war. This monologue from Naruto left Itachi in both awe and fear. Awe at the raw power of this just to that this boy made and its applications if used on a bad soul. And fear that Naruto knew everything. Seeing this fear Naruto decided to elaborate. Don't worry no one told me, it was this realm, it is your reflection and I know all that happens in here. I also know your plans with the fake Madara, and yes he is a fake, he is Obito Uchiha. I know this as Kurama, or the Kyuubi as you know him has met both and while their chakra is similar there is a big enough difference to tell them apart. Here is what is going to happen you will leave us, flee as you know you can't win and I will tell the idiot nothing. Though I will, kill him if he becomes a threat. Not that it matters as his curse mark has sterilized him but whatever. Itachi looked down, so he and Sasuke will be the last Uchiha's for good. They both were sterile, a cost on Itachi's part due to his medication. He looked at Naruto and said very well I we will leave. The world around him shattered and he was back in the real world, on his knees with bleeding eyes and Kisame screams in his ears. Itachi blew red over to Kisame put out the fire and went to escape with him. His younger brother then appeared with a Chidori blazing Itachi merely hit his brother with a Tsukuyomi and left. He had no time to deal with Sasuke's stupidity. About five minutes later Jiraiya appeared looking for the trouble only to be met with a large punch to the face and a beating for Monko about his incompetence. Guy appeared, he had come to get Sasuke after the boy had heard that his brother had been to the village and impaired his teacher, and that he was after Naruto. Kicking the boy to see if he was conscious Guy then put him on his back as Naruto Onko, and Jiraiya were on their way to Tazanagai. If anyone was wondering I made Onko strong few reasons. First her life sucked. Second was the fact that Orochimaru only trains geniuses so should she not be very powerful or at least hold a great deal of potential. She is stronger than Orochimaru at this point and just slightly weaker than Jiria, about Itachi with his illness level. Though as Itachi was cured he would kick the shit out of Jiria, but Anko will soon surpass both of them. Also I will be helping Tsunade, she should have ripped Kabuto and Uwan not get the shit kicked out of her. In Tazunakaga they were walking in the town that Tsunade was last seen. After about five minutes within it Naruto began to sense the immensely powerful chakra that was Tsunade, it was very similar to his as she like him was both Uzumaki and Senju. Though he noticed that there was something drained at a rather constant rate. And not in a healthy way. Follow me Naruto said to his group as Anko began to follow him and the old dode began to walk, well waddle over as he was still very sore form the beating Anko gave him. They entered the nearby bar. And they're sitting at a table next to beautiful women in a dark blue kimono holding a pig was Tsunade Senju of the Sanin. Tsunade, it had been a long time this was Jiraiya, from whom Naruto could sense a deep level of love and adoration completely directed to Tsunade. Great it is like a reunion Tsunade said, voice full of bitterness who are these two are the new apprentices, I hope they live longer than your other one did. Hard to be someone's apprentices when you are stronger than the other, or just slightly weaker in Anko's case. Both of us are able to beat him in a fight and I could demolish him with ease, so there really is no point in being his apprentice. Also are you aware that that necklace is, is sapping your life force, it is probably why you have aged so prematurely. Which is remarkable seeing as you are both a Senju and Uzumaki like me and should age very gracefully. This was Naruto whom left everyone in a shock. What he said next made everyone have their jaws drop to below sea level. In fact if someone other than you or me put that on it would kill them or sap their strength to the point that they are unable to move. It requires someone of absolutely immense life force to survive its pull, I could reverse the effects if you like. Before you do that Naruto I need to ask Tsunade something, Tsunade you have been chosen as the 5th Hokage and are needed back at the village. Jariaya said interrupting Naruto and making Tsunade pissed. No, I will not go back to that hell hole. It took far too much from me. Besides, being Hokage is a fool's job, she said with a huge amount of hate in her voice. Get over yourself, while I agree the Hokage is a fool's job, you have lost very little compared to most. Anko her was used and abused by the entire village just as I was. Both of us have no family and both have had no control of the situation. Both of us have had our education stunted and through each other we have become strong. Besides why would we need a coward like you as Hokage, you know what I will not reverse your premature aging, I will let you remain an old, bitter hag. It is what someone as selfish as you deserves. Naruto exclaimed with great irritation, absolutely, oozing killer intent. You want to go brat I think I can take a Janon like Yutsunade said completely believing that Naruto had bluffed his strength. Elite Jonin actually and yes I will fight you hag with that last remark Tsunade swung her fist at Naruto hoping to knock out into the street. Naruto merely raised his hand and caught it with no effort, he then brought her to his body, spun her around and backhanded her outside. 
Tsunade got up stumbling a bruise on her check, and heard Naruto say I will make you a bet if you I win I pay all of your debts and reverse your age. If you lose then you will come with us, train with me to get back your full powers, and will grant me two more requests. Deal? Liking the sound of that bet she quickly agreed. Determined to win the beat she launched herself at her fellow blonde disappeared only to feel a kick to her back courtesy of Naruto who had appeared there in a burst of speed. She struggled to get up before Naruto appeared in front of her with a Rasengan in his hand that is her stomach. This time when she tried to get up she realized she could not move. She saw herself covered in seals. Naruto walked over to her. Well you lost so I win but I will do something as a gesture of good faith. He grabbed her necklace and channeled his chakra chain chakra and then pressed the now glowing jewel in between her breast, gaining a tick mark and blush from his cousin. As he was looking he would have seen a look of jealousy from Manko, Shizune and Jiraiya. The energy from the jewel flooded back into Tsunade shattering her henge revealing a frail old hag that was quickly replaced with a beautiful 25-year Tsunade. She felt so much better and she could feel her ovaries working again. She began to cry as she felt better as old age is not something a Nuzumaki should really ever feel and her body knew it. Tsunade you were deprived of your family just as I have for so many years, now you have Mukoseon, and many other to call family, blood is not everything. Now starting tomorrow we will start you recovery training. You will be much stronger in your prime and honestly your earlier performance was Jonin Leal at best. Don't worry in one week you will not only re-achieve your prime but be better, much better. While I was restoring your youth I placed two seals on you, one to gather your chakra as you sleep so you can make about 300 cage bushin, and the other is a resistance seal. With your healing abilities you will be even stronger than Jiraiya. And with that they left for their hotel rooms. Tsunade feeling whole for the first time in many years. Shizun was elated at the prospect of going home. Anko was glad that they helped such a powerful Kunoichi get her strength back. Shizun is about near Kakashi's level in the data book but lacks the ninjutsu and taijutsu skills to win. So I helped her balance out. A week after meeting Tsunade. It had been a week since they meet, and Tsunade was, happier than she had been in years, stronger too. She was actually stronger than Jiria now, this was due to Naruto helping her to get back her old skills and expand her ninjutsu repertoire. She was able to use her massive lighting affinity to a degree that her great uncle could use his water affinity. She also learned a few justus from each affinity, mostly earth and water to complement her lighting justice. She also expanded her gene just to a bit. She was very proud of herself, and grateful for Naruto's aid. She had even gotten over her fear of blood. She was ready for the confrontation with her old teammate. Shizune also was given some extra training in Taiyasudo and other fields and was a lot more deadly. She was in the alleyway waiting for him. As he approached she gave a signal and Naruto, Anko, Jiria and Shizune appeared. They were all ready for Orochimaru. The man, along with his second-in-command Kabuto, Kimimaru and Gurin ran to the open field about three miles away and the battle began. Gurin vs Tsunade the crystal-wielding women knew she would get the shit kicked out of her if she fought the women hand-to-hand, -hand, so she settled for using her crystal style. Launching several crystals at the sexy future cage, she hoped for the best. The women effortlessly dodged them. She then faded out view and appeared behind Gurin who she hit in the spine, severing it with a chakra scalpel knocking the women out. Shizun vs Kabuto the Toe Healers, both subordinates of the Sanin stood ready to fight. They launched at each other with high-speed movements, both using chakra scalpels, neither really getting anywhere. At least that is what it seemed like. For Kabuto healed and Shizun dodged. This was until Kabuto received a kick in the stomach that was full of chakra. It sent him flying. He actually was hit so hard he passed out. Naruto vs Kimimaru. The Toe faced each other. Both smirking at the thought of the fierce battle they would wage. Both sensing the other's immense strength. They launched at each other in a fierce Taiyas to battle that Naruto was dominating. They exchanged blow after blow. Until Kimi decided to pull out his spine and Naruto pulled out his sword. They went at each other again. Naruto disappeared in a flizz of speed and Kimi found a sword in his chest. Naruto then kicked Kimi away where he then passed out form blood loss. Naruto's sword glowed red. Anko vs Orochimaru master and apprentice stood face to face. Anko's face surprisingly calm and relaxed. Orochimor wanting to end this quickly tried to activate her curse mark. Seeing no reaction he charged at her, extending his neck to reapply to mark. As he bit her body burst into a huge plume of lava. It covered Orochimaru and entered his mouth. He was in agony. He was melting and bringing into nothing. He quickly shed his body before Anko was on him. Kicking and jabbing with Tsunade level strength the man was terrified of her. He was almost dead when, Kabuto. 
Gurren and Kimimaru appeared and grabbed him. They all quickly left after a snake was summoned to divert their attention. Jiraiya who was watching was awed at the power display he'd just witnessed. He was very afraid as none of them liked him and all had the power to kill him. It was a bit disconcerting. Let's go the old monkey is expecting us, Sunati said as they all left for the leave. Any summon ideas are welcome a warm welcome Jiraiya's fears were justified as it seemed that all of the people he was traveling with were more than willing to beat his old perverted ass. He had been pummeled by Tsunade, poisoned by Shizune and Onko, and paralyzed by Naruto and once again thrown into the hot spring to get the shit kicked out of him. It was terrifying. One the bright side their trip was going rather quickly and it did Shizune and Tsunade well. Although once Tsunade discovered Naruto's skill at gambling she made him gamble for about three hours, him literally clearing out the entire place, before being kicked out. He won enough to last his clan for quite a while. After about three days they made it back home to be interrupted by some Anbu who had sensed the massive chakra signatures they possessed. You really could not blame them as all had at least locage level. They were taken back to the Hokage's tower to meet the old man at the tower when Hiruzen looked up at the people who had just barged and he was shocked to see all but the old Dode Sage look at him with disdain. He looked down in shame as he realized that Naruto had shared his many failings with his only female student and her apprentice. Welcome back Suhaim Hiruzen said with a fearful smile. He realized her chakra signature was far stronger than his and Jiria's, she really could beat him up. Shivering he continued his smile in hopes of a light beating. Well sensei you have a lot to answer such as why you never tried to contact me about my cousin Ruto. But that is for later for no I believe I need to take over your job as you are incapable of it yourself. After dismissing Naruto and Anko, Tsunade began to deal with her old sensei properly. His scream echoed throughout the village reminding them why Tsunade was so feared. Back at the Rikudo clan compound. The moment Anko and Naruto entered the compound they were glomped by Sakura and Hinata who had sensed them from quite a while away. I missed you Ruto they both said squeezing both of their victims till they were blue in the face. Once they were released Naruto and Anko replied by squeezing the life out of them saying we missed you too. So how have your other victims progressed? Anko asked referring to the people they were to get up to speed. Very well, they just needed a kick in the ass Sakura style. It was fun Sakura replied they are all at least high chunin and some like Shikamaru and Shino are about a solid jonin level. Actually Shino is about Kakashi's level, without his Sharing and activated. He loves it here. Ino is about Lokage level and I and Hinata are about Orochimaru's level. Gar has actually discovered he is very good at Tiasutu and has learned several just to balance him out. He even began to study seals to prevent what happened to him to happen to others in his village. He is about low mid cage level. Ten Ten has joined us and discovered an incredible talent for Jean Justu and sealing. She too is about a solid Jonin level. Did you bring back Tsunade? Hinata finished for Sakura. Impressive, Anko you may find a powerful apprentice in Ten Ten Naruto said as they went. In the next three days several things happened. Tsunade was coordinated as the Hokage, Tsunade began to teach Naruto, Sakura, Hinata and Ino on Medic Justu and had them participate in surgeries and autopsy. She even healed Kakashi who got his ass kicked by Itachi and Sasuke who had also shared that fate. This lead to Sok brooding even more. Three months later in the last three months Sakura, Hinata and Naruto who had made a team under Anko had done about 80 missions of B to a rank even 6 rank as well. All three had become very well known. The village was running a lot smoother due to Tsunade's aid. She had fixed up the hospital and fixed the academy she had made Shizun teach some kids medic abilities. The best kids in the academy at the moment was Kanahomaru, Moigi and Udon who were set to graduate in one year they were so ahead. Shizun was set to be their Jonin teacher. However there was one person who was not happy. Sasuke Uchiwo after getting the shit kicked out of him during a mission where Ino saved his worthless life, decided to attack Sakura and Naruto who were working at the hospital. They demolished him. Kakashi began to berate his old student about being too rough but was then beaten himself. Sasuke. After stomping home due to a beating by a previous fangirl, was convinced to leave the village by the sound who worked for Orochimaru. He left unawares of the seals on his neck alerting Naruto and Sakura. The chase begins Naruto and Sakura were in the Hokage's office explaining that the Uchiha had defected from the village so she ordered them to gather a team up and get him. They were free to kill him if needed. So they left and gathered their team. It consisted of Shino, Shikamaru, Hinata, Sakura and Naruto himself. They left the gate with only a warning to Shikamaru that if he slacks of it all he will lose a very important appendage. It took them about 25 minutes of constant travel before they got to the area where the Sound 4 was. They popped in the middle of their camp before the fat member of the Sound 4 put them in a large earth dome. 
Sakura simply raised her fist and slammed it into the dome turning it into crystal and shattering it. The fat one, Jirobo was completely covered in a chakra sucking and binding crystal. They sealed him up and left again. They caught up once, more. Two of them dropped unconscious. All except the pretty red head, whom Naruto sensed was an Uzumaki. Why they passed out, well it was due to the improved chakra stealing beetles on them that Shino had snuck on them. They quickly sealed them up and Hinata dealt with Tuya. She was completely immune to the Jinjustu and was able to play with her troll summons. She then paralyzed the girl whom Naruto ducked down to and said. I can feel the hate you have for Rochimaru, I can remove the seal and bring you back to the village cousin. You are an Uzumaki and I don't abandon family. Be they blood or not. To prove my point I will do this Naruto said as he touched her seal with two fingers that glowed green before the seal started to smoke and bleed a purple liquid. A shrill scream came from it as Naruto completely mauled the shard of Orochimaru's soul within it. Seeing this Tuya was quiet for the first time in her life, she turned to Naruto and said well shithead I guess I am a leaf ninja now. As she said this Kabuto and Kimimaru appeared to grab Sasuke's casket. But as they touched it a huge seal appeared on the ground stealing all of Kimi's chakra, the combined stress of his illness and the lack of chakra killed him. The casket exploded disrupting the seal and set the Uchiha running with Kabuto. Naruto sent the rest of his team minus Sakura back to the village. The chase began. To be continued why was this so short? Sop that the fight scene can be very long and to put you guys up for a bit. What to expect? Kimi's addition to Naruto sword. A major ass kicking Jinjutsu that rules. Other goodies. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on my other social media accounts. Anime God here, and I'm signing off.